Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got Sammy Hitsky with me this morning and Barney's joined us as well. A few complaints from the northerners so far. One from Queensland complaining it's a bit cold and this bloke's from up the coast of it. It is cool. You it said it was cool. freezing. It's freezing, <laughs> but hopefully the fishing's going to be hot. <laughs> We're fishing magnificent Lake Macquarie, my home waterway. It's the largest uh, tidal saltwater lake in the southern hemisphere actually, certainly in Australia, there's no doubt about that. And it's a recreational fishing haven and there is some really good flathead fishing to be had here. So we're going to go and target some flathead with a few different uh, options. We've got, uh, I think I've got a surface lure rigged for a tailor in case that busts up. We can chase some bream. There's lots of options fishing Lake Macquarie. Flathead's one of the key ones and that's what we're going to start off with. Well mate, I've never fished here before so I'm excited. Alright, let me be your tour guide. Come this way. <laughs> Great. Oh, whack! Got gotcha. him. Oh, gee, that was a, that's a, that was a good boy. You doing the honours there, Bart? A bit of a bite there. Well, I owe him the, I owe him a good miss shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how good that? Just show, Ooh, that hold that lucky. for me, please. We get some nice little reddies in the lake here at, at times, and there's a prime example right there. So. Um, brim flathead, oh, trevally, salmon, kingfish in here. I've caught cobia in Lake Macquarie before. I've seen dolphin fish in here. Great white sharks occasionally. Yeah, right. I won't mention those too much. But, Diverse uh, fishery. But, but yeah, the flathead, oh, flathead fishing is, is exceptionally good here at times, but it's nice to get a little bit of bycats like that, snapper, and that's a good sign when they're, when they're hitting your lures, I reckon, those snapper in the estuary system. Barometer's rising today, so I'm confident that we might see a few fish. Oh, off you go, buddy. There you go, go on. Fish, got him. Yeah, he's a bit of weight there. All right, that's a go. Well, I picked that colour out before, Gusty, <laughs> and I thought, that's going to catch fish. I even said it to the cameraman, did I not? How about we just hit the magic yeah, well, electric it's big. anchor it's button? Big. It's big, oh. Gusty. <laughs> oh, yes. And he's got that right. That oh, no, is it's a... on the top of the head, so oh, all right. That's a great fish, that one. Lake Macquarie is a trophy flathead fishery and oh yeah! The squid wasn't worth the drive, oh, but that one yeah, is! Yeah, that's beauty. Get up here Barney, come and have a look at this. So that's a big, big breeding female flathead, so we'll just get a quick snapshot and uh, show you what it looks like and then Sammy will let this fish go, but that's a beautiful big fish. 100% that's a female, that one there. The males grow to about that sort of 58, 59, absolute max, so anything after that is going to be a is going to be a female. The males just certainly don't grow that big. That's a beautiful fish. And it's one of those spots just here where, where I have caught some really good ones before. So we thought we'd just come down here and have a quick cast. And that was absolutely first cast. Yep, yep. I'm just stoked to have come down to Queen, from Queensland to show you guys how to catch these good fish. <laughs> You guys do struggle. Do we have to put up with this? You realise there's a really good coffee shop over there, and I was going to shout you a coffee, but I think Barney and I will be right. The cameraman might get one as well, mate. You're going to be struggling. I'll oh, tell you, you're right, going to be mate. struggling. If I catch all the fish, it's <laughs> oh. worth it. Mate, you've set the bar pretty high there, so I don't know how we're going to go trying to knock that one off. That's a beautiful big fish. Best thing to do is, is watch that big female swim off. Off you go, mate. Send it back. back. Yeah, send it back. Give me a bit of a quick swim. Yeah, spin that head around. Off you go, girl. Oh, yeah, well, she's biting down. Oh, oh, she's got you. <laughs> and she's gone. 
There's nothing better than a day on the water, but you want to make it home safely. So remember, one of the most important pieces of safety gear is your life jacket. Eight out of ten boaters who have drowned in New South Wales were not wearing one. The new jackets come in a range of designs, so they won't get in the way, whether you're chasing a big one or just taking in the sights. Whenever you're out on the water, make sure you and all the crew put one on. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. Well, that's uh, two and two casts there, Guesty. Two and two casts. You're kidding me, aren't you? What are we doing, Bar? Mate, I think we're, well, we're just putting we're down just the back of the boat. I this think. is another Bar good fish, too. A good one? Yeah. <laughs> another good one. Are you kidding? It's probably the same fish. It's not the same fish. Perfect rod. Three to five kilos, seven foot long, 3,000 size spin reel, some eight pound. Um, eight pound braid and yeah, 10 pound leader and then vibe or a soft plastic to suit. But that's uh, that's what we're using at the moment, that Sorry one. Sorry to interrupt your little spiel there, Guess You might need a net. Yeah, you might need a net. Right, uh, ready to go? I'll so I'll lead him I'll, over I'll, there. I'll, I'll be your net man again, mate. Straight in there. That's just... Are you sure you're using a vibe? Yeah, mate. Yeah. And that is down the hatch. It is. <laughs> it's cool. It did not miss it. <laughs> we might have to just do a bit of an operation to get yeah. that one out, but we'll sort that out in a minute. But um, yeah, that's a, that's another beautiful looking two fish. Two and two casts. Look, we've got a bit of a de different technique we use up in Queensland. And look, these fish obviously don't see it very often. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Are you serious? Uh, but I've never heard so much waffle in my whole life. And I actually think it's some very good local guiding that's got you on the fish so far. No. Are you going to argue with that? Oh, would you have come to this spot? You would not. You have never been here before. You're yeah, so full no. of it. No, this is, I'd pick this straight <laughs> up. I would have gone here first, actually. <laughs> I'm going to go this yeah, bad Yeah, one. yeah, that green one's all right. Just going for three for three. Show me how to do it, Sammy. So it's all in the flick. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, but that's not my one, is it? That's a good Money's fish, too. Off. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Solid one. Get out of your way there. there. Barney. Oop. Working around. Oh, head shake, head shake, head shake. Head shake, head shake, head shake. Head shake. Yes. yes. Sorry about that. That's all right. I do feel like that was my fish. <laughs> it works out too. Hey, what's going on? This one's been caught before, has he? He's, he's done someone a. Uh, what's he got? We might do him a favour shortly. He's got some line coming out of yeah. him. So Sammy's got a bit of line there. We'll just cut that bit off. So, so that into and, the gills. We'll make sure that goes in the bin. So it's horrible to see line left laying around. And that one is Ooh. back down. We'll, look, we'll just clean that off. Cut that other bit of line off and release Barney's fish in a minute. Look at that. No, oh, sorry about the no three in a row, mate. But right. anyway, <laughs> you've got to share sometimes. <laughs> right, I see you, mate. That. Oh. And go on. Go. It wasn't. It was. That's still oh, another nice fish. It's it, a good fish. <laughs> it wasn't. Does, does you get the net, bar. three and five cast still count? Always make me nervous. The old head shaking flooded. They I do, reckon. especially when they break the surface, mate. That's Here why they go. sort of. You seem to Come lose back a few. to you now. And in there. Oh. Guesty, can you reintroduce me as the Lizard Wizard? The Lizard Wizard? He's up the back changing his lure to my colour anyway. <laughs> He's trying to get in on the action. Come up here and have a look at this one, Guesty. Number three, mate. Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's counting. He's counting. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to get an invite back, I don't reckon. Right, so the smart thing to do in this situation, just so everybody knows, Let's is to... Talk is us to, through your lure choice there, is, mate. How'd you pick well, that colour? I just looked through the box and I thought that this has really got to work, this colour here. It's got nothing to do with the fact that Sammy's and Barney caught theirs on a green one. So while they, while they deal with that, I'm just going to get past Barney. And the right thing to do as a competitive angler is start fishing. There we go. That's a, well done. 
Now, but that's we're, probably if you're going to eat one. I was that's just perfect. about to say that we're releasing most but of our fish. I, I do have to have you guys for a couple of days at my house, so we might we might even keep that one. Let okay. all these other big ones go, but we'll put that one in the live bait tank and keep it, and we can bleed it and look after that one a little bit later on. That's a perfect. Yeah. That's about It'd as big about as you want to eat. Fifty, one. what, fifty two, fifty three centimeters? Yeah. Perfect. You get a good bit of meat off them, and. Uh, Tell you what, you, you just keep chatting. That's hard, it. hard to beat the old <laughs> fillet of flathead. I might dispatch this guy and get back on the water. Oh, back on the water or in the water? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm way. catching more fish, so I can say whatever I want. You can say what you like, mate. Beautiful. Really? Yeah. Flat Lift on oh, oh, oh. oh, I tell you, tell you, that probably needs a net, that one. It's the next size up, that one. Samwise. It's always a good good session when you don't even have time to put oh, the net away. There's another one. We're going to double the up. <laughs> this go is champagne. Just, just hold that. This is champagne. Hey, hold this. Let's get three. Right. All right, come on. Go. Go. See if we can do it. Oh, I've got mine in the net. Barney's got his coming. Feels all right, too. He's had it cast. Nice fish, I think. Mate. And uh, I've got to tell you, if you're watching at home, it, it, it's not always no. this. <laughs> we do have days. Oh, Barney's. Come That's on, a nice Barney. Fish Next too. one in. Oh, no. Oh. Barney, put his head down, Barney. What are you head doing? Down, head down. Hey, oh, oh. Head down. Yeah, yes. that's two. Yes. Come on. I fouled me lure. Oh, well, that's it. Hang on, no, we're, no, out. we're out. What we're are you guys doing with those two? I'm going to catch one. Myself. We're out. Oh, we, can, we can do this sort of stuff anyway. Oh, we're look at it everywhere. This is mad. <laughs> who, who, caught, who caught what there? Oh, we've got the macrame going on. Oh, dear. Oh, hang on. Come on. Really? Can we get three on the deck? Is it a good one? <laughs> yep. Oh, there goes Bigger one. Oh, he doesn't feel massive, but he's got some weight. I think he's just going to be in this school size. <laughs> Hang on, we got two on the deck. Let's get three. Come on, see if we can do it. Stay there, Flathead. Come on, mate. Oh, oh he's only, no, a, he's that'll only attack. I'll, I'll, I'll lift him. Come I'll on, come on, come on. Oh, he knew he was giving you a hard time, that one. So <laughs> he's just pulling he was giving you a hard time, that one. So there's three. How good's that? That's some seriously good fun. And it just goes to show you, if you can get things right, and what we've got at the moment, I don't know if I mentioned before, is we've got a rising barometer. So high pressure systems moving in. We had quite low um, pressure yesterday and there's good weather apps that you can get that show that barometer moving really fast. So I said to the boys, oh, if we can find them, it took us probably a couple of hours to find where the fish are holding, but if you can find them and if we've got a new moon, it was last night, so dark in the moon, rising pressure. And I gotta tell you, it's, it was just a matter of finding where they were. All right, I'm in the game. And it was gonna happen. And we wanted a triple. There you go. Check that out, three at once. I don't care what you call, I reckon. You I'm can't just catch two flooded and think you're having a good day, mate. You're like five behind. We're fishing out of the out of the uh, 590 estuary boat today. It's perfect. You can see three of us up on the casting platform. Barney's actually gone to the forward casting platform and Sammy's caught another flathead. But plenty plenty of room here. I've um, got the big sounder there at the front as well to keep an eye out for the bait, but where we're fishing is more of a visual thing at the moment. But so much room to fish when you've got three blokes standing up the front. And uh, yeah, Sammy's just landed another nice flathead. So we'll keep casting and uh, see if we can't find just that next size, next size up, another fish that's a little bit bigger. Nice little fish. Great thing with vibes is a forktail vibe is um, it has this vibration, hence the name. So it's got this awesome vibration coming up through the water column, up and down. Um, it's got the visual look with the eyes, looks like a little bait fish and you get different colours, but it definitely helps to add some scent. So I'm just going to wipe a bit down either side. There comes in a tube, that scent. You don't need too much, but just a little bit every, every probably 15 or 20 casts, you'll just add a little bit on there and that can make a difference between A, that trophy fish committing or not, or on a quiet day can make a massive difference. So um, just adding that bit of scent. Uh, just gives that, that extra element. So you've got the vibration, you've got the colour, you've got the look, and then it smells good as well, and that just helps those fish commit to the bite. Oh, yes, got him there. Oh, <laughs> Straight oh, under oh, the boat. Net, net, net. 
Oh, he's coming yeah, up. Oh, it. that's a good one. Oh, nice come fish, across. Nice fish, nice across, fish. Come across. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> well fish, Mike. Flathead feed on a range of things, but in, in, certainly in this system, we're talking about uh, white bait, mullet are a big one, small tail or I guess more whiting. But then in the warmer months, prawns are a big one. So if, if it was that time of year, you know, oh, yeah. Barney's been yeah. down here with me, those prawn style, shrimp style yeah. lures work really well, curly tail lures. And then as it cools off, I do like the vibes in the slightly deeper water. And um, either way, but on a day like today when they're really biting, I don't think it really matters what you're throwing at the minute. All right, there's that lure. We're looking good. I'll just have a quick check of that leader. And it is a little bit roughed up just there, Barney. Yeah, it doesn't so take long to retie really it, does it? Cut that off. Using a lefty's loop knot on that. I called that chartreuse before. And Sammy said, no, the chartreuse is actually yellow. But anyway, green. I'll go green and orange. It's not actually. But bright colours. Dirty water seems to work. So lots of flathead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get this one back in the drink. Off you go, bud. Off you go, buddy. I reckon there's some bigger ones down there somewhere. Go on. There you go. <laughs> Got a glove there, Barney. You could use the. All right, you Whoa. go. Oh, He's too tough. Go! Oh, yes! <laughs> what a release! Ten points. Ten points on the dive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good mate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Jake's climbed on that one pretty good. Uh, here he comes. He's coming at me at a rate. Oh, that is a good fish, actually. Oh. Here you go. It's got a good oh, head on that one. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a go. Yes. Give you a rock. Thanks, mate. Oh, that is a solid one, that one. And swallowed that lure. Oh, head shake, head shake. Go, Sammy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice fish. That's a solid one. Woo. Hang on to that, Sammy. So that's the first flathead we've caught that, that hasn't been on a, on a fluorescent coloured lure and you know why I threw that one because I still had it rigged from this morning so I thought I'd give it a cast but yeah, lazy fishing. <laughs> but it's a big a bigger profile trying to chase a slightly bigger fish which this one is just that next size up again. <laughs> as far as flathead fishing goes I've got to tell you it's been absolutely sensational but plenty of options here. We'll get this girl back in the water and uh, see if we can't uh, can't find one just that next size up would be pretty one awesome. Yeah. Well, it's always time for one more <laughs> cast Marty. All right, it's a pretty good fish, eh, that bite I had up there. Oh, I watched him eat that. How cool was that? Right there, nice, mate. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. <laughs> Just fishing. Keep an eye on the sounder, and you can see where it's, the water's quite discoloured at the moment, but on the sounder you can see where the cockle beds come up, and there's a bit of, oh, and he just spat that one there. Well, that's all right. loads of bait Yeah, and there's a heap there. of bait here, no so. Wonder the, no wonder the flatties are here. Yeah, definitely. i just check that hasn't rolled the tip of that hook. No, it's all right. But uh, that was right there. I virtually saw that fish eat that, and I changed to a white-coloured paddle tail lure in quite shallow here. Now it's having a bit of a bit of a cruise along. But uh, that was right there, so if you look on the sounder, you can actually see, see coming through here now, that's the cockle bed there. It's a bit of, that's a little bit of bait in amongst it, but that's all the cockles coming up off the bottom. The flathead love hanging around structures, so that's a great place to find them. He's in all this weed as well, a little bit shallower, so I've just gone down a slightly smaller jig head size, but uh, perfect spot to be chasing one there. Told you'd come back. Oh, <laughs> God, what was that? Yeah. Got him. Oh, oh, uh, hang on a second. Here we go. And oh, 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 oh Barney, that is a that is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <gasps> That's a beauty. And just make sure when you're holding those fish, Barney's got just come around that way, Barn. Barn's got a really good thumb grip there. I I, I braved one there before. It's a dumb thing to do. These black gloves, they're cheap. You, um, go and get yourself a pair of those. And um, good thumb grip, but you've got to support that belly. There's nothing worse. I see no. photos of kids with lip grips and holding flathead up by the jaw, any fish by the jaw. I wouldn't and then, like it either. No, no, I, I don't know if I could lift you up, mate. But got to support that belly. Get a quick photo. We've all got phones and, well, we've got DSLR cameras here as well. But get your picture, let it go, watch it swim away. And then one day, I'd like to catch this fish when it's a bit bigger. I, I reckon that'd be even better. Or well, watch you catch it. I don't mind either way. No, mate. no, no. It's really exciting. <laughs> yeah, this is him. Happy? I saw him. Have a go at that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, ho, ho, that's a nice one. 
That's a nice fish. That's a great fish. Young Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that's going to top the day off big time. That's going to top the day off. Absolutely top the day off. Wow. As I said, today we're fishing in beautiful Lake Macquarie. It is a trophy flathead fishery. Has some great fishing as you've seen so far. And I've got to tell you, that tops it right off. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Well, check that out. That is a magnificent big flathead Sammy's got there. We've had a cracking day. Oh, Landed so incredible. many flathead. Lake Macquarie has turned it on for us. A little bit cool and breezy this morning. I've got to tell you, it is absolutely beautiful here at the moment. Lots of options in Lake Macquarie. The sand flats and the big whiting are, are next on the They're menu. Calling the show. They're next. calling us. <laughs> they are. Michael Guest, Barney, or Brian Perry Barney, whatever you want to call him. Sammy Hitsky all the way down from Queensland to come for a fish with us. You've been watching Real Action, and there's been plenty of that today. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.